Hank Kramer III is one of the best loved folk singers in the American West and a perennial tumbleweed performer. He's widely known for his booming bass voice, smooth picking on a vintage flat top guitar, and his wry sense of humor. He has a repertoire of over a thousand modern and traditional songs, spanning the genres of Celtic, Appalachian, Maritime, Cowboy, and plain old folk music. He's more than simply a performer, however. He's a historian and educator who weaves music and history into presentations, bringing life to the rich story of America's westward movement. He gives his audiences insight into the folk process by which traditional songs evolve and change to describe new events. My name is Hank Kramer. I'm a traveling folk singer. Oh, thank you. The Irish say, don't clap for him yet. He hasn't done anything yet. But uh, anyway, I'm Hank Kramer. I'm a traveling folk singer from here in the Metha Valley. Everybody in this room is my friend. I've had a, got a lot of old friends here to see me today and some new friends I haven't met yet, but we'll get around to that before the, uh, before the day is over. At the age of eight, I was sitting around doing nothing in particular. Grandmother was reading the paper, and she said, there's some fine Irish brothers named Clancy, and they're singing at the Catholic high school on Saturday night. We're going to go. And uh, there were the Clancy brothers and Tommy Makem. And, uh, and I was astonished. By the end of that show, I said, when I grow up, I want to be one of those guys. The song they opened with that night was called The Whistling Gypsy Rover. You're going to sing it here in just a moment. The chorus of this is the easiest one you get. The chorus is Adi-do, Adi-do-da-de. Choruses don't get much easier than that. If you want, your waiter can bring you a pen and a napkin. You can write it down. Or if you have a Sharpie, you can write it on the back of your forearm. It helps. But Adi-do, Adi-do-da-de is the operative phrase. The whistling gypsy come over the hill Bound through the valley so shady The whistling he sang till the green woods rang And he won the heart of a lady Here comes the adi-do Adi-do, adi-do, adi-do Adi-do, adi-do and he sang to the green woods rang And he won the heart of a lady She left her father's castle gate She left her own fond lover She left her servants and her estate To follow the gypsy road Father was unhappy, as they are apt to be. Her father saddled up his fastest steed. He roamed those valleys all over. He sought his daughter at great speed And the whistling gypsy rover to a mansion fine down by the river Clady and there was music and there was wine for the gypsy and his lady possibly cider as well and he sang to the green and he won the heart of a lady. He is no gypsy, my father, she said. He's lord of these lands all over. And I will stay till my dying day with my whistling gypsy rover. Ah, 
The harmonies out there. There's a on our last trip over to Ireland, um, we went to Galway City, and it's famous for its horseback races. But Kit and I learned something. We had a wonderful tour guide named Patrick Kennedy, but he said many many years ago, there was a poor farmer with a wonderful horse, and the rich landowner kept challenging him to a horse race, but the poor farmer wouldn't do it because the only thing he had of value was the horse, and he was afraid he would lose it in the race. Uh, so finally, the rich man pressed him enough that the farmer agreed to a horse race, but not on a track. He said, we will start at the church in the village, and we will race to the next village, and you may choose any route you want. You may go by the road, if that suits you, or you can go across the pastures, through the woods, across the stream, but you have to round the steeple of the church in the next village and come back, and it doesn't matter what way you go, but whoever's back first wins. And the Irish farmer won the race, won the money, and won the other man's horse. And ever since, that's been called a steeplechase. And every town, including Galway City, that's famous for horse racing, they've got a, they've got a regular track, and then there's a steeplechase route they run. And with that, it's a long-winded introduction to a song called The Galway Race. <laughs> As I got down through Galway town to seek for recreation On the 17th of August my mind been elevated There were multitudes assembled with their tickets at the station My eyes begin to dazzle I'm going to see the races to me walk Full of the door, full of the diddly idly Mouth music To me walk Full of the door, full of the diddly idly There were passengers from Limerick and more from Tipperary the boys of Connemara and the Clare on married maidens And people from Cork City who were loyal, true and faithful Brought home the Fenian prisoners from dying and foreign nations To me walk, follow the door, follow the diddly idly And it's there you see confectioners with sugar sticks and dainties And lozenges and oranges and lemonade and raisins and gingerbread and spices to accommodate the ladies and a big crubine for thruppence to be picking while you're eating to me walk follow the door of all of the dilly idly and it's there you see the pipers and the fiddlers competing the nimble-footed dancers and they tripping on the daisies and others buying cigars and lights and bills for all the races with the colors of the jockeys and the price and horses ages to me walk full of the door of all of the diddly idly and it's there you see the jockeys and they mounted on so stately the blue the gold the orange the green the emblem of our nation when a bell was rung for starting, all the horses seemed impatient. I thought they never stood on ground. The speed was so amazing to me. Whack, full of the door, full of the diddly idly. And Ireland has had so much strife over so many years, and now things are much more settled and peaceful, that I especially love this verse. There were half a million people there of all denomination, the Catholic, the Protestant, the Jew, and the Presbyterian, there was yet no animosity, no matter what persuasion. Good fortune and hospitality, in juice and fresh acquaintance, to me walk, full of the door, full of the diddly idly. As I got down through Galway town to seek for recreation, on the 17th of August, my mind been elevated. There were multitudes assembled with their tickets at the station. My eyes begin to dazzle. I'm going to see the races to me walk. Full of the door, full of the diddly idly. To me walk, full of the door, full of the diddly idly. Dale Erickson, how am I doing on time? Should I keep singing for a while? Okay. There was a book, some of you may have read it, called Finnegan's Wake by James Joyce. And he actually based it on a rowdy song 
that he heard in a pub one night called Finnegan's Wake. And this is a song about a poor fella who used to drink too much before he went to work, and he fell off a ladder and broke his skull, and they scheduled, uh, they scheduled a wake for him, a funeral. But remember how earlier I sang a fragment of a song called An Invitation to a Funeral, but to our disappointment, the fellow didn't die? Well, that's essentially the plot with Finnegan's Wake. When enough whiskey spills on him, he revives. And so it's, so it's kind of a reincarnation song. Uh, you know, there's very devout Catholics, but they can reincarnate people with whiskey if, uh, if it's necessary. Kind of a Buddhist thing, I suppose. Anyway, and the chorus is, Walk for the doll, now dance to your partner. Well, the floor, your trotter's sake. Wasn't it the truth I told you? Lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake. And you're supposed to clap why you're singing that part, but the deal is that if you don't clap when you're supposed to, you owe me a pint of cider. If you do clap when you're not supposed to, a round for the house would be appropriate. So be very careful. Be enthusiastic, but careful. It goes, whack for the dollar now, dance to your partner, welt the floor, your trotter's sake. Wasn't it the truth I told you? Lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake. And you stop right there. Oh, some. So you're wondering, if this is a participative sport, is there any particular title that we use for people who participate in a song? Yes. Can I see a show of hands? How many of you have heard of the Mormon Tabernacle Choir? A show of hands? Okay, good. Everybody is culturally aware of that. Okay, in Irish pubs, after we've been drinking too much, we sing along and pound on the table, and we come into a group called the Moron Table Knocker Choir. And uh, you are welcome to join me in the Moron Table Knocker Choir with Finnegan's Wake. Here is the entire underbridge story. This is easier than reading the book. Tim Finnegan lived on Walken Street, a gentle Irishman, mighty odd. He'd a beautiful brogue, both rich and sweet, and a rise in the world he carried a heart. But to see the sword of the tippler's way, with a love for the liquor, Tim was born And to help him on with his work each day To drop to the crater every morn What for the doll now dance to your partner Well, the floor your trotter's sake Wasn't it the truth I told you Lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake Very good <laughs> One morning Tim got rather full His head felt heavy which made him shake he fell from a ladder and he broke his skull and we carried him home, his corpse to wake. We rolled him up in a nice clean seat and we laid him out upon the bed with a bottle of porter at his feet and a gallon of whiskey at his head. Work with a doll, no dance to your partner, well the floor your trotter's sake. Wasn't it the truth I told you, lots of fun at Finnegan's wake. Ooh, you guys. Kit will issue you cards to put in your wallet, acknowledging you as a member of the Moron Table Knocker Choir. The friends assembled at the wake, and Mrs. Finnegan called for lunch. Lunch! First they brought in tea and cake, then pipes, tobacco, and whiskey punch. More punch! Biddy O'Brien began to cry. Such a nice, clean corpse did you ever see. A Tim of Ornian, why did you die here? A hold your gobs as Paddy McGee. What with a doll, no dance to your partner. What the floor, your trotter's sake. Wasn't it the truth I told you? Lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake. No Irish woman ever gives up an opportunity for a good argument. <laughs> then Biddy O'Connor took up the job. A oh, Maggie says she, you're wrong, I'm sure. Maggie gave her a belt in the gob and left her sprawling on the floor. And the war did soon engage, woman to woman and man to man. Shillelagh law was all the rage and a row and a ruction soon began. What for the doll, no dance to your partner, well the floor you shot her sleep. Wasn't it the truth I told you, lots of fun at Finnegan's wake. Then Brian Maskew chanced to duck, when a noggin of whiskey flew at him. It missed him falling on the bed. The liquor scattered over Tim. Tim revives, see how he rises. Ooh. 
Timothy rising from the bed Says world me will steer around like blazes Ton of on daily, I think I'm dead Whack for the doll, now dance to your partner Welp the floor, your daughter's safe Wasn't it the truth, I told ya Lots of fun at Finnegan's way Whack for the doll, now dance to your partner Welp the floor, your daughter's safe Wasn't it the truth, I told ya Lots of fun at Finnegan's way Woo! You guys are right, thank you much